The market for cultural art is huge. Unfortunately, almost all the Native art that you find either online or in stores features fake Native American art. When I walk into a store and I see cultural art from my community that's counterfeit, it feels like a family photo on a product in a store. It feels that personal to me, and I wanted to do something about it. My name is Louis Gong, I'm a Nooksack tribal member, and I'm the founder of 8th Generation, which is based at Pike Place Market in Seattle. When I walk through the mall, almost every store has native art on products in it, and not one of those products is connected to a native artist. To me, that represents a huge problem, and 8th Generation tries to address that problem by creating actual opportunities for cultural artists to develop products. I'm a self-taught artist, and about 10 years ago, I started doing art by customizing a pair of shoes. And I had developed a really strong organic following from doing that work. We know that people want to buy native art, so that eventually became the foundation of 8th Generation. We have about 15 different business relationships with makers within two miles of Pike Place Market. When you buy products featuring art done by Native people and produced by Native-owned companies, you're strengthening the cultural art and the communities whose artwork you like. We're the first Native-owned company to offer wool blankets. This is important because the aesthetic of wool blankets has largely been Native. When people think of wool blankets, they think of Native art. I think people are used to seeing Native people in one of three categories. You know, we're typically a charity project or a symbol of history or a symbol of the natural environment. We're planting a seed about who Native people really are. And so when they walk in the door, the message that gets conveyed is that we're alive and we're thriving. And that contradicts what people want to think about Native people.